Hey folks, this is Best in Slot, and tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. Tonight we're going to play around a little bit with Chimera Painter. This is a really interesting new tool from Google. I'm going to link it down below. Any of you can give this a go at home. And it is basically an AI-based, machine learning-based creature creator. It's bizarre, but basically what they did is they fed this AI thousands of images of animals and it learned how to make skin textures and horns and, and kind of design realistic creatures based on fairly rudimentary painting like you can see here on the left hand side. This is one of the default ones. I didn't make this. But you can see how this image here, fairly simple, becomes this rather realistic looking detailed chimera kind of creature. Now the idea was to help artists in video games make mock-ups for creatures and stuff like that. Um, but they've released it for everyone, so we're gonna have a little go. Now, if you do give it a go, it is worth remembering this is currently very, very buggy. Um, really, this is the only brush that works, this one right here, which does make it a little difficult to do any detail, but I'll show you an example. So, for example, this is the head of our Chimera, and you can see what I mean by the brush size, but if we have like a, a tilted shape up there, and then we click transform, and you watch the Chimera on the right, it should kind of like become like a natural extension of the head. Look at that! Isn't that fantastic? It looks really good. So we're going to mess around with this one for a second. Let's give it a big old eye. Boop. <laughs> That's not going to be terrifying at all. It's really a shame that the smaller brushes don't work. I'll show you what I mean. If I try to go like a small brush, nothing happens. Sometimes instead you'll get this super weird blobbly texture. But let's give him some, some circular horns down the back and along the tail. I'd like to have these smaller size. It kind of looks like a clown at the moment, that's okay. Let's see how that turns out. Might be a bit of a monster. <laughs> it's a little bit of, but the eye looks great. Um, I wonder if I can like kind of just make my own thing up here at the top. Let's just give that a go. We are gonna design our own creature entirely by the end of this. So right, let's give it an eye. Let's give it three eyes. Let's go wild, there we go. Is there a mouth? There's a mouth. <laughs> I can only see this looking absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it looks like the moon from um, from Majora's Mask. Right, let's give it wings. I don't know what this is. This is basically a Zubat from uh, from um, Pokemon. Right, it's got wings. What else can we do? We can do so much stuff. We can give it a little neck. We can give it a tail. Let's give it a tail. Meow. It just kind of looks like it's throwing up a penis. It is a shame about the brush sizes. It's going to be a lot better when you've got a little bit more control, but... I see this lovely camera. There it is. I mean, isn't that a beauty? An absolute beauty. So I'll show you the other examples. There's number two. I don't know what this one is meant to be. Some strange hooved creature with two mouths. Seemingly, there's like a little screaming maw there in the middle. Some of them are pretty cool, though. This is like a screaming porcupine chimp sort of thing. And again, like the small brush would help, but we can do a, let's do a mouth. I say I want to try it. Can we put like a gaping maw on its stomach? Kind of like the, um, oh, what's it called? We had one in Cryptid Park. I can't remember what it was named. I'm trying to sort of squeeze this in there. There we go. I need to give it some teeth, which again, unfortunately, I can't be too detailed about, but there we go. Let's see if that works. Does it look like a mouth on the stomach? No, it looks terrifying. <laughs> it looks absolutely awful. Sad face. Transform. Eh? There we go. And the fourth one is this, is, it's a flying version of our Chimera from earlier. So it's really, really cool. Um, definitely recommend you give it, I don't know why I always just <laughs> do that to the head. I really recommend you give it a go. It's just like a really interesting idea, if nothing else. Um, what we can do, it's kind of hard work, but we can go into clear. Now we can only, no, we can't clear doesn't work, but eraser does work. And again, you can only use this brush. The bigger one doesn't work. Only that brush there specifically. But this means we can try to create our very own creation. And by the way, if you give this a go, please hook me up in the comment section. Just take a screenshot, take a thumbnail, take a... Take a uh, push or whatever it is you use for your screenshots and show me what you make in the description video, in the comment section of this video. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So what I thought we'd do <laughs> is try to make a sloth. So I've got an image up <clears throat> on my other screen of a sloth in a horizontal pose and I'm going to try to match it as good as possible. So we have like a torso front area. Where's the rest of the torso? That's the torso back. So I'm going to... 
I'm gonna do the torso first and then we can put the head over the top of it. So the torso is kind of like that. It's already probably too big, I think. But it's kind of curved. The stuff is, I'll show you a picture of it hopefully, but the torso, the stuff is kind of like turned towards the camera a little bit. So this would be like the back of the torso right here. I don't know, is a sloth? A sloth is like all torso, basically. It's like torso and then legs, right? It's just like a blob. So we have lower legs front, lower legs back. Oh, this is much more complex than I want. Upper legs front, upper legs back. So the front of the upper leg would be here, and it kind of comes down like that. Let's chunk that up a little bit. It's a chunky sloth. And upper legs back, which I guess is this. No, no, I've done this wrong. That should be the back. So let's chunk that up over there. It's gonna be beautiful, guys. It's gonna be beautiful. You just wait and see. <laughs> it's gonna be a monster. <laughs> and then the upper legs front kind of comes forward like that. And then has claws. Where's my claws? Oh, God, I really wish I could have. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, you can't really see the back legs, so I'm not gonna worry too much about them. But let's go. Back legs front, back legs back. Which was which? I don't. I have lower legs back. Low legs front. What does that mean? <laughs> right, that would be the front, I guess. And then the back. Again, you can't really see it. It's kind of like nestled under the body somewhat, so I'm just going to kind of stick that in there. Okay, looks lovely. I'm going to put the head on last, so I need the upper legs back. So we're going to come out like that. So it kind of crawls towards the camera. And then the front kind of comes forward like so. And then the claws kind of come down again like that. Lovely. Professional at work. <laughs> and then we need the head, which is around here. Sticks out a decent amount. It needs to be bigger than this, obviously. This is mutant. There we go. Looking good, looking sexy. Need to give it a couple of eyes. I've drawn worse things. That probably says more about- Oh, I didn't see that leg! Oh, there should be a leg like right here. I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> I'm too committed now. There we go! Does it have- do we have a nose? There we go, there's a nose. Um, <laughs> can't really see anything else. Uh, I think that might be it, right. What's the betting on what this looks like? I'm a little bit nervous, guys. Here we go. Show me my beautiful sloth. I'm ready. I'm excited. Oh, no! What is that? Ah, it's a monster! What is that? That is the worst thing I've ever seen. That is terrifying. It's the mouth, it's the head, really. It just looks, it's just, it's just this flat circle of death. What if I add like a, right, let's see if we can make it better. Right, let's add a bit of a neck there. Oh God. How do you make this better? I don't know, I really don't. That looks a little better, actually. A little bit. Um. <laughs> Why are the eyes so terrifying? Usually the eyes look like eyes, at least. These are just black holes of death. Okay, I think we need to we need to adapt it a little bit. So we're gonna give it a tail, and we're gonna give it some wings. My sloth is taking to the skies. There we go, lovely stuff. We'll try something else after this, and there should be a wing like coming out over here, there, right as well. I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready? Sloth 2.0. Is it beautiful? I bet it's beautiful. But it's the greatest thing any of us have ever seen. Yeah, it is. It's miraculous. Okay. <laughs> so the sloth went badly. We'll have to try another one. How come theirs looks so good? Right, wait, right, what I can do is I can upper legs back. Horn. Wait, I wanna lower legs back. Upper legs Oh I'm an idiot! No wonder the legs look stupid. I thought I was thinking back as in um for some reason I thought upper legs was like the top of wait no. Yeah. Upper legs is like, that's like the top half of the leg, and for some reason I thought that meant four limbs. I, no wonder it's a monster. That's the only reason it didn't work out. Otherwise, it would have been absolutely beautiful. I think we can all agree. I really want to know how you do this. Is it the eraser? No. How do you make the white at the bottom? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try again. We're going to clear this one out. I'm going to leave it a little bit of ground this time. 
and we'll find something else to draw. Okay, obviously we have to try to draw a dinosaur, so I'm going to do one, but I'm going to do it sort of just from the neck up, so we can hopefully get it, because we don't have that much room to play with, so if we just do for the head, maybe that'll be okay. So I'm going to try, this is uh, based on a fantastic piece of work by um, RJ Palmer, I believe. Yeah, who does basically all my favourite paleo art. Right, so I'm just going to basically copy it and see what we get end up with. Is there a mouth, by the way? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. So that comes up like that, and around to there. And then up, down, round, up in a little bit, up, round, up like that, down, towards the neck. This is a little bit on the skinny side. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. I think you'll all agree this is an absolute goddamn masterpiece so far. Okay. Okay. So I'd say, right, I'm just going to colour all this in, I think. It's still a little skinny, isn't it? There we go. Maybe still a little skinny? Uh, and I'm going to bring this down a little bit there. I'm going to get this spot on. This is going to be literally the most accurate T-Rex that humanity has ever seen. I am going to be the next big paleo artist exclusively using <laughs> this program. There will be some mouth filling. The mouth will look less weird by the time I'm done, I promise. So I'd say this bit is the head. And then anything below here, I would count as neck. So we need to... Where's my blimmin' neck at? Alright, there it is. So I'm gonna just kind of do like a line. It kind of goes up like that and then around. So this would all be neck. Let's make it chunky. There we go. I'm wondering how it's gonna handle this. I think you meant to kind of stick within the lines as well, but I've never been good at that, so... <laughs> and then torso front will add a little bit of torso kind of coming down like this, just in case as well. Because why not? Gotta make it sexy, folks. Gotta make it sexy. Make sure there's no lines, uh, no gaps even. There's the neck. It's a chunky ass neck, isn't it? Okay, cool. We're looking good. Looks kind of like a sauropod, but that's okay. Now the mouth kind of comes in to that point there. So it's kind of like that. And it matches up to there. And it kind of comes down like that. It's not great, I'll admit. Um, <laughs> I kind of know what I'm getting at, but I feel like maybe it doesn't push far enough into the head. And that's probably the issue, right? So the mouth needs to come further in. So it kind of goes up more like that, I would say. That's better. And then I need to clear out. Obviously, this shouldn't be that far for. Oh, no. Erase. I really hope they fix this. If they do fix things and to get it working properly, we'll probably come back and do this again. Alright, not bad. I think mean, that's, that's actually pretty good. Right, let's give him some teeth. This is where it hurts to only have the big brush. There we go. <laughs> uh, they kind of like go down like that, right? Yeah. And some up here at the top. Okay, looking sexy, looking sexy. Has a little bit of a nose, like there. The eye, where's the eye button? There it is. Over there. Alright. I don't know what else I need to do here. This is pretty bloody perfect. I think you'll all agree. <laughs> um, I mean, it looks like a disaster. <laughs> it's too long. This is all too long. The neck needs to be squished in and needs to be brought up. Actually, we can do that though. What we can do is bring in the torso and go like that, maybe. And then we can add claws. Even better. It's still not perfect, but it's, it's, it's an improvement. Okay, are you ready for an expertly rendered T-Rex? I'm really curious what it comes up with. Come on, realise that it's a mouth like that. Please, that'd be so good. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Why doesn't it work for me? Why does it only create monsters? Like, all these examples look really good, and then I do it, and it's just so bad. It's so very, very bad. Muzzle. I'm going to put a muzzle on. Muzzle's like at the front, right? Okay, well, I think we've realised, <laughs> maybe because of the thick brush or whatever, but it isn't destined to work for me. I, th I think we can say that much at the very least. Oh, God, it just gets worse. Right, let's give it a horn. We might as well just go for it now, right? What else can we do? We go. 
If I, hey, if it's not going to work, I will make an Eldritch Horror. God damn it, and you will like it. <laughs> um, right, let's give it some claws. So I need upper legs back. No. Yeah? Upper legs front. Upper legs front. Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> no, I need upper legs. I need lower leg. Oh my god. Upper legs back. No. I need upper legs. Lower legs front. Why is this not. To ah! <laughs> right, okay, so I'm gonna do like a little. This isn't really the hunt. This isn't really what it should look like, if we're honest. But um, I'm gonna get over it. It's kind of meant to come out the other way. Actually, we can. We can fix it. Oh, don't even come out that way. What have I done? What is wrong with me? Right, there's the upper leg. There we go. I don't think there's like a hand section. I think that's meant to probably just be part of this. So I'm gonna give him some little fingers. There we go. And then we'll give him some claws. There we. Ah, look at that beauty that I've designed here. Absolute stunner. Yeah, it, it's just, it's always flat pieces stuck together. It never looks like a real creature when I do it. I don't know why. I'm gonna make him horny. A little haircut down there. It's get. I tell you what, it's getting there. It's slowly looking better. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> um... I don't know what else to do. I mean, it's not that bad. I wish it wasn't pink. I wish there was a way to control the color a little bit, but it's okay. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Let me have a look at some of the others. How does this work? Something. I mean, that one doesn't work. This one though. This one's fantastic. And this one especially. Let's uh, let's go. Oh, yeah, this one. I mean, this one just works. Look at it. It's perfect. And I've seen other people do it, and it works for them as well. Alright, can we can add? Can we add just like a full-on horn up here? Give it a bigger eye. There we go. Looks like it's got a Christmas hat on. <laughs> it just changed the colour automatically. I think we need smaller brushes. I think it's very clear that this has nothing to do with my absolute lack of drawing skill. And it's, it's completely the game's fault, essentially, is what I'm trying to tell you right here. Nothing to do with me. Gonna make it into a nine tails. Kind of looks like it's got an alien <laughs> evicting itself from its area. Yeah, it's beautiful. See what I mean? Though, as soon as I add the tail, <laughs> the tail gets so much worse. It becomes like flat. I'm sad. Horn, horn, horn. All right, let's see. Bye. Does that work? Absolutely beautiful. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I say, we'll probably... <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> right. We'll probably come... Get, if, if you guys like this video, we'll come back and give this another go when the brushes get fixed. I do think that's a big deal for doing detail and stuff like that. So if we can get the brushes fixed, we'll come back and give it another try. But I had fun. <laughs> I hope you guys did too. Give this a go for yourselves. Like I say, I will link it down below, but if you want to Google it, just Google Google <laughs> Chimera and it should show up. Um, and please do send me screenshots down below or you can hit me up on Twitter or Discord or something like that. Both of those are linked in the description as well. I'd love to see if any of you can make like an actual creature. That would be the first step. Can you make a creature that looks like a bloody creature? Let me know. I'll see you lovely folks next time. Cheers much love as always. Bye-bye.